Hello, third graders. This week in writing, we are going to be revising and editing our papers. Yay, we get to write more. So you guys have been doing awesome. Um, I know that it's been difficult with the remote learning. It's surely been difficult for me to not be with you guys, but just keep up the good work and make sure you're watching these videos because they're super important in helping you understand uh, what's expected of you and what you're going to be graded on, especially this video. So this video, we're going to be talking about revising and editing our work. So this is a checklist of questions that I am sending home with you guys. And I'm going to go over them um, in this video just to make sure you guys don't have any questions about what that means. But this week, just so there's no confusion, you've already written an introduction, you've already written a main paragraph, and you have written a conclusion at, the, at this point you have written what is called your rough draft. So you will be rewriting your paper this week as a final draft. I know that it's been a lot of writing, but this is good for you and this will really help you become an awesome writer and uh, just really help you with fourth grade because in fourth grade, you'll be doing a lot more writing. I can guarantee you that, um, but it will get easier. And as these questions, um, as we talk about these questions, you'll learn how to be a really solid writer. And writing isn't always people's favorite. Um, so I know that this can get frustrating and kind of intimidating to write a paper, but just make sure you guys are focusing on your own goals. Maybe you have a goal in writing that you're really working on spelling or you're really working on um, using simpler sentences and not using run-on sentences. Whatever it may be, think this week, what is a goal in writing that I have for myself for fourth grade? What kind of writer do I want to be? Because the sky's the limit, guys. You guys are so smart and capable, and writing is something that you're going to be using the rest of your life. So moving on, uh, we're, we have been writing about an explanatory, informative topic about ecology, and you guys... Uh, have hopefully understood the point of that. It's to inform our reader of information that they probably don't know about and that we want to share um, those details and examples with. But we wanna make sure we have a main idea and we wanna hook them in our introduction. We wanna explain the details in the main paragraph. And then we wanna conclude what our paper was about and why was it important that we talked about it. So with our question one, when you're editing your work this week, ask yourself, did you read your work to a sibling, parent, or friend? I want you guys to read your paper to at least one person that can hear your work and give you feedback. This is so important to the writing process. I do this sometimes even with my own mom. I call her, I'm in college, I've written a 20 page paper. I don't read her maybe the whole paper, but maybe I'm really stuck on the introduction. I read her the introduction. I ask her, did that, was that, you know, did that um, interest you in my topic? Or would you change this? Or would you change that part of it? And it really helps. It really helps me uh, become a better writer. So uh, number one, super important. Number two, did you make sure that all your sentence sentences are complete thoughts. Make sure that your sentences do not just stop at, I went to the store. Okay, well, why did you go to the store? I went to the store is a complete sentence. But when we talk about complete thoughts, complete thoughts, um, they make, they give us more examples, they give us more information, which this essay is all about information. It's all about explaining what you've learned about in ecology and what you want to share with your reader. Number three, did you check to make sure your three paragraphs are indented? Each paragraph should be indented because that's how I know it's a paragraph. If I'm looking at a paper and it's just a bunch of words and there's no indents, I have no idea where your introduction is or your main paragraph is. I need to know specifically where your introduction ends and where your main paragraph begins. And same with your conclusion. No, number four, did you check to see that your work has a topic and closing sentences? So extremely important for this paper specifically because we've been talking a lot about 
introducing something and closing it. So specifically with our paper, we need to have an introductory sentence for our topic and we need to close that idea in the conclusion. But what this means specifically is does each paragraph have an, in, it introduces your topic and it closes it. So it's not just a bunch of random information. There's a flow to your paper. Number five, did you check to see that your details and expanding sentences are on topic? For example, I wrote about the roles of consumers, decomposers, and producers. I stayed on that topic. I didn't talk about food chains. I didn't talk about the energy pyramid. I didn't talk about a random ecosystem like the beach or the woods. I, I stayed on my topic. So that's what my paper is about. So I want to make sure that my details and expanding sentences stay on the topic of the consumers and the decomposers and the producers. Number six, did you check for capitals and periods? Very important as well. Make sure you capitalize beginning, the beginning of a sentence and you're using periods at the end of your sentences or a question mark if you ask a question. Also, we capitalize other things. We capitalize proper nouns. So you guys should know uh, that we don't capitalize food chain. We wouldn't capitalize, let's see, decomposer or producer, but we would capitalize ecology. Ecology is a topic. It's the study of something. So ecology is capitalized. So make sure you're capitalizing the things that need to be capitalized. Number seven, did you look up any words that you don't know how to spell? There are so many words that even I don't know how to spell, and I have to go back and check. Did I spell that right? So I circle the word. I go and check it. If I spelt it right, I keep it. But if I missed a word or a letter in that word, I just change it and I make sure that I'm good to go. Because trust me, spelling is important. Number eight, did you check your word choice? So with word choice, this first sentence that I, or this first question that I ask about reading your work to a parent or a friend or a sibling, this is a really great way to check your word choice because normally when we read this to a friend or so you know whoever, they're usually good at giving us feedback about word choice. So maybe that's something you wanna ask your parents. Um, I would actually encourage that when you read your work to them, ask them, is there any word choice um, changes that I should make in my essay? Number nine, did you check for commas in a series? So when we're talking about a series of things like dogs, cats, and hamsters, we use commas to separate those things. Uh, number 10, did you check your plurals and possessives? So you guys obviously know what plurals and possessives are. And when we are um, talking about a decomposer, a specific decomposer, or we're talking about decomposers, you know, we're making sure that S is on the end to make it plural. And then lastly, my question for you guys um, is, does your three paragraph essay effectively inform slash explain what ecology is and a specific main idea to your audience? So you guys are gonna be talking about all kinds of different things in ecology. Maybe you're talking about an ecosystem, a specific ecosystem. Well, why are you talking about it and what is your main idea and how does that talk, how does that effectively inform or explain what ecology is to your reader? So thank you guys so much for listening. I hope that this video was helpful. And again, like I said before, you guys are going to be writing your final draft this week. So make sure that you take all of the information and all the words that you used in your rough draft, go through them, ask these questions, use your checklist that I'm sending home with you, make those edits, and then rewrite your essay so that it's clean, it's your, it's your best handwriting, all the spelling errors are corrected, everything is good to go because that paper will be graded. So your final paper for this essay will be graded and I will be posting um, shortly a rubric, which is basically what just shows you how I'm gonna grade your essay. So you'll know exactly what's expected of you and a lot of the things we've already talked about, but you can actually look through that rubric, check your, check your paper one more time, and then 
when you're ready to submit your paper, you can you can email it to me or have your parents send it to me. Thank you guys for listening to this video and I hope you guys are having a great week.